this Climate Change National Forum? So uh, Climate Change National Forum is a new journalistic initiative uh, co-founded by a group of scientists and myself as the founding journalist uh, to inform and educate the American public on the science of climate change and its policy implications. Uh, the way we go about that is to serve, we first served as a public forum. Our, our blog forum and fact checker website debuted on January 1st, 2014 uh, as a public forum for scientists to blog on the science, um, openly deliberate on the most policy relevant aspects of the science, um, and fact check the media. Um, and we started with zero assumptions and we openly solicit uh, the scientists and fellows of the American Meteorological Society, American Geophysical Union, and American Institute of Physics. So we have kind of served as a platform for, and kind of hosted a comprehensive, um, yet accessible uh, examination of the science. We purposely started from scratch, purposely started with zero assumptions. And, uh, and now that we've kind of learned so much about the science, we're shifting over to the policy debate and now opening it up to discussion and debate by subject matter experts and policymakers on what can or should be done about climate change as a nation. Excellent. Well, can you tell me a little bit more about... Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Um, so where are you guys based? Are you up in New England or...? <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't no. sure what the hat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere else. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're based in the... Uh, liberal bastion, green energy capital of the world, known as uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, no, uh, no, yeah, we're based out of Houston, Texas. We were founded there. Uh, national organization. We got scientists and uh, contributors from all over the nation. But uh, yeah, we were founded right here in the energy capital of the world. Uh, and you know, if we can make traction and be successful here and uh, facilitate a dialogue here, you know, we can we can do it pretty much anywhere. It's, uh, it's an intellectual journey. It's a, uh, uh, it started that way. Uh, I created this blog forum fact checker as uh, a, you know, a journalism project to facilitate really any dialogue on any controversial um, or complex national issue facing the nation. It was really, I was just kind of tired of the partisanship and built a cool WordPress website and started customizing it. Um, but really kind of chose the issue of climate change because it's super wicked. Um, as they say, just because it kind of different dynamics of it, uh, uh, but also it seemed needlessly partisan uh, uh, and, and very tribalized. And we thought that that was the perfect issue to test the platform out on. So I ran it by a few scientists, and, uh, and lo and behold, Dr. John Nielsen Gammon at Texas A&M, uh, British professor of atmospheric sciences there, um, he was game. So it began. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Well. How could an ordinary person connect with you? What What are a couple of ways that they could benefit from what you guys are offering? Uh, well, first off, we're here for normal people. Uh, we're here for the scientists um, to communicate, you know, and inform and educate you. So really, we have a uh, public comment thread and also a uh, um, a comment thread just for the scientists and, and now for the forum members. Um, so really, ask ask scientists questions. Uh, uh, they'll answer, you know, uh, uh, any question on the science. Uh, uh, and now you can ask any question on values or, you know, because if you ask something about catastrophic climate change, the scientists are probably going to mention that, uh, well, you know, what's catastrophic to you might not be catastrophic to someone else, you know, uh, depends on what you care about, you know, it depends on how much value you put on future generations and how much you compare that to the, the present one. Um, as an educator, I'm curious what involvement you might have or wish to have with schools or young people, students. Yeah. Uh, we're actually um, opening, uh, kind of exploring partnerships with uh, universities, uh, departments, you know, the journalism department, or even, even a humanities department. You know, I mean, the discussion on you know, what can or should be done or why should we care, you know, that's you no know, scientific answer to that. Uh, so, so we're opening to really kind of the whole a plethora of academic departments um, and, and universities to partner with, um, but also high schools too. Uh, um, and because we also want to get kind of infuse students' dialogue, you know, and their voices and their open minds uh, in this dialogue because, you know, their generation is going to be critical. 
Wonderful. Well, you guys sound like you might be public enemy number one of misinformation. So that's <laughs> we're, great. We're, we're scalable. Acid. We're scalable. <laughs> with, with corporate sponsorship, you know, uh, anything's possible. We're, we're kind of, this is, uh, you know, we've we demonstrated success, but, you know, this is totally unsustainable without corporate sponsorship. Uh, 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 and that's that's why we're here kind of at Earth Day, Texas, um, to really kick off the policy dialogue and demonstrate that, hey, look, you know, it can be had. You know, that there can be a policy dialogue that remains more to the science. You know, uh, uh, um, we can't have this marketplace of policy ideas. Uh, but we're also doing this to reach out to corporate sponsors. Uh, so we can hire journalists and staff to not only grow, um, and cover, and moderate this you know, new partisan or bipartisan debate, uh, uh, but also send them out on assignments, send them to Paris to cover the climate negotiations, uh, to cover these you know, big questions, these issues that crop up out of the dialogue, uh, and also maybe harass the presidential candidates and elicit an answer from them on uh, what candidates should be done about climate change. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Clark. Thank you. Have a good thank day. you. Yeah, Mrs. Cohen. <laughs> All right. That was great. Yeah.